after the doctor's appointment yesterday, a wellness nurse came in and she ministers to people uh, who are senior citizens. And she tested my memory. Well, I'm not gonna test your memory, but we'll just go through a short synopsis of Abraham's life up to now. He lived in a beautiful home in the city of Ur, and then God said something to him and told him to go to a land that he would show you, and if you do this, he will make you great. And Abraham did that and took his nephew along with his wife to this place where he was to go. He was unsure about where it actually was. He only knew that God had promised him. And so then they both had sheep and goats and they, the servants of each of them argued about who could get the best lands when they decided to separate for good fields. And Lot chose the best ones, but Abraham didn't get in conflict with him. And then God intervened and he noticed Abraham's kindness. And he said, look around and I will give all this land to you and your family. Now we'll read the next chapter in Abraham and Sarah's life. Abraham and Sarah longed for a child of their own, but this wasn't possible. They were both very old. Sarah was 90 and Abraham was now 99 years old. But God knew all about the couple's greatest wish. And one day he appeared before Abraham and made him a special promise. Sarah will have a baby son, said God, and you shall call him Isaac. I will bless you so that you will have many descendants. I will give you and your family this beautiful country to live in forever. In return for this, you must promise to obey me. So Abraham was sitting in his tent when he saw three men walking toward him. It was a very hot day, so Abraham invited the men to rest in the tent. And he said, stay for something to eat too. Sarah was preparing their meal when one of the men said to Abraham, soon your wife will have a baby son. Sarah overheard this and burst out laughing. I'm too old to have a child. The man heard her laugh. Nothing is impossible for God. Suddenly, Abraham and Sarah realized that their guests were not ordinary men. They were messengers sent by God. So we'll get together Sunday and we'll see what happens to Abraham along the way.